for the spring of 2014. So um, moving along with that, we had um, found that the weather needs to be under or over 50 degrees for so many consecutive days for any kind of striping to be done with dry pavement. Um, we've had above 50 degree weather for a few weeks now at least, and I know it's been raining, but you know, I mean, we can, nobody can predict that there's not gonna be any rain. It could rain all summer every other day, who knows? So it could be a very rainy summer. Um, but to keep peace and try to, and we'll never be able to make everybody happy, but to try to keep peace, we try to work this out the best way we possibly could. And um, so we moved along. Um, Becky, or Alderman Mueller and I, uh, during our May meeting, had come to an agreement that we would make June 1st the, the, the cutoff day for um, trying to get something done with 28th Street Park um, in Washington. Uh, so what we would like to do is um, have Public Works go in and it only takes a few minutes to remove the pickleball nets and remove the bolts that are there. And even though it's not striped, they can still play tennis at that court. And um, I had just had a conversation with Dan Ferrari. He had just called me and said, well, would you guys agree to us putting up temporary stripes at Washington Park for pickleball until they come in and, and restripe, until the U.S. Tennis Court comes in and restripes? And I said, I wouldn't have any problem with that, but we can discuss that tonight. Um, I think temporary stripes would be a, a good thing. If they can't get here until July or August, then at least pickleball can still go forward. And tennis um, can still move forward at 28th Street Park, and the neighbors up there, um, even though there's a few of them, I understand that, but every citizen is just as important as the next. If I have one call of a, just from one citizen complaining about high grass, we take care of it right away. Even if it's one, we don't wait for four or five to complain. We deal with it as soon as we possibly can. Like I said, we're not going to be able to make everybody happy, but we're sure trying to get this moving along and um, make the people, the residents that are out there surrounding it happy and making pickleball go forward so everybody can continue playing. And this was the best result that we could come up with. So we asked uh, Chief Burnaby and Chief King um, to make June 1st, and I sent out an email to the Park and Rec Board giving them about approximately 30 days notice that this June 1st is going to be the day that we were going to make that cutoff date. Um, whether the U.S. Tennis Court is dragging their feet or whether they're too busy and they're not going to be able to get to us till September, um, we pushed this along to try to make everyone happy. And June 1st, I figured, would be the best thing to do and to make that transition um, quicker and better. So um, I understand that you guys are here and you want to speak and give your opinions about it. So, uh, Yeah, let me start, Rodney. I'll the board president. Um, going back to the uh, December 10th, 2013 Park Board meeting, I'm going to read this. This is in our minutes. Ray, we're talking about pickleball now. Ray then made a motion to move pickleball from 28th Street Park to the two west tennis courts at Washington Park in the spring slash summer of 2014 as weather permits. And at that time to create one permanent pickleball court at Washington Park on the far west court and to line the second court to the west for pickleball play. Uh, Larry seconded the motion carry unanimously. Tennis could still be played on three courts at Washington Park. Next paragraph, Ray made a motion for, Ray made a second motion to convert the 28th Street Pickleball Courts back to one tennis court in the spring slash summer of 2014 as weather permits at a cost of $4,800, quoted by U.S. Tennis. Uh, Simon Kemper seconded, motion carried unanimously. Ray closed the discussion by stating that you need, we need from U.S. Tennis, eight consecutive days and nights above 50 degrees to cover the courts in three days without rain. Pickleball will resume at 28th Street Park in Peru until spring, until the courts of Washington Park and 28th Street Park can be converted and covered. Now that's December uh, 10th. Uh, public property, six days later. Uh, pickleball court structural change. Alderman Perez explained to the committee that the Recreation Board approved unanimously to relocate pickleball from 28th Street to Washington Park tennis courts in spring of 2014. It doesn't say spring slash summer weather permits. So I, I think that our minutes from six days earlier, they're editing. Because we have our minutes in the spring slash summer as weather permits, we will make the change. And in, in this correspondence here, it only says that in the spring of 2014. So it's like two different things. Okay. And uh, U.S. Tennis, we, we've had enough for several years. 
and, and they go strictly by the weather. Like I just said, you need three days without rain and eight days about 50. Morning, night, evening. Okay. And they, they don't drag their feet. They are, Can I they are real busy in the whole state. They also have company and uh, getting service off. Okay. Great. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure. Have they given you a month when they think they might be able to get there? Yes. Yes, they have. What month is that? Because there was, we, we haven't received any communication on so yeah. Please, would you like to? Uh, sure. Um, I actually spoke to the owner today. I have been communicating with him weekly, Becky. Okay. And I, according to him, with no, not a lot of rain in the forecast next week, the project should be complete next week. So please unlock the gates. It's unreasonable. There's no need for a transition. This is the, there's, what do you mean there's no need no for a transition? No need to transition. The transition doesn't have to happen until they are physically in our city, which is going to be probably this week to do the post work at Washington Park next week to do the coloring. Well, let's be busy. Well, I wanted to step back to the minutes. It's nice to know that today. I just got we the just information. Up today. Okay, but we've had no communication from you since the middle of May. No, since we May copied 15. you on an email recently. Yeah, it was um, May 20th on a Wednesday. Janice contacted Mike, the U.S. Tennis Construction Company, they're from Rockport, Illinois, mm -hmm. and he said that should have been copied on the email, Becky, I think. Yeah, I, I sent it to both of you. You were copied right, on Becky both got it. I, I the last email I got was um, you were going to uh, try to get a further update and then discuss that at your next meeting, which was next Tuesday. Correct. Right. But on the 28th, I, I did forward it, I know I did, to both of you. And they said that they are at the mercy of the weather. And they have three projects to finish up from last fall. And we are on the top of their list from the pool. Well, the top of the list, how, what's... The top of the list. Next week. Next week. Okay, so um, let me. I want to step back to going back to the minutes where you said they were edited. Um, our minutes, our minutes don't reflect off of the minutes at the Park and Rec Board. Our minutes are um, drafted to what happens in our meeting. So the, I'm sure that when you guys made the motion, as I recall, you said that um, it was spring 2014 weather meeting. There was no weather. Uh, there was no motion made spring of 2014 slash summer. There was, no, there was no slash summer. Um, because the reason why we were doing this and moving it along quick so we didn't have to go through another summer with hearing from the neighbors up at 28th Street Park and we wanted to get this moved along quicker. And that's the whole reason why we're here today and that's the whole reason why we moved it along up and didn't wait until um, fall of 2014 to agree to, to move you guys along for next year. We did it as a compromise. So um, the weather's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. They may not get here next week either. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's supposed to rain Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, we there's no reason why we can't have um, public works go up, remove the nets, and at least open 28th Street Park for tennis until um, U.S. Tennis comes. You can't and open 28th Street Park for tennis until those those holes are filled in. According to um, from what I understand, it takes just a few minutes to remove those bolts, and there's no not going to be any issue. The holes are a very small, sizable bolt. It's not going to Is cause that the any contract issue. that uh, U.S. Tennis will remove the nets and the bolts and do all the groundwork. But the nets are just clips. Uh, according to uh, Danny Ferrari, so why? Just a couple why? Minutes why? I mean, there's, there's, four, there's five other tennis courts in Blue Run. I don't understand. There's four at Washington. And all day today, I saw one couple, one two people playing on the Washington court. And there's one at Sunset. So <coughs> I don't understand why when we have a nucleus of pickleball players who want to play there for another week, of which some are represented right here, why you would deprive us of playing there and put any manpower into striping a court that's going to be we, covered we aren't up saying in a striping week. it. We're saying that you well, have temporary that. nets up at 28th Street Park. Let's move those temporary nets to 28th Street. Why it doesn't or, make sense to or, or down in Washington. Not Pickleball Not was presented to us as being a portable sport. So why can't we remove the nets at Washington and make it portable until U.S. Um, tennis comes and strikes? How to secure the nets? In a win like today, they would have been... The garage is right there. I mean, I'm sure that we could figure out a way to do that. Just doesn't make sense. It's not logical. Well, then, then what is your plan? You have two programs planned starting June 23rd for pickleball Mike at Washington Park. Mike assures me it will be done by then. 
were totally aware uh, back in 2012 when we painted the courts, Washington Park wasn't ready yet because of the weather. We were in the same game with, with the, the rain. It's it's the same identical. thing. We've got to but interfere with the first week of tennis. Yes, we, we took them back to tennis one week. Yeah. We, we just moved them back one week until the courts were done. And they, they started a week later. All the kids had fun. Parents had fun. There was not one complaint. There isn't anyone dragging their feet. We're dealing with contractors, which are busy, and they don't take time to communicate very well. But I did speak to the owner today. And his goal is on a rain day, because tomorrow they're going to do first work at Washington Park. And then next week, weather providing, they're going to finalize the screen. And how long? And so, he knows our goal. So what if a week shouldn't make a difference? I mean, if there's no pickleball played for another week. We wanted to play tonight. Yes. Rhonda wanted to play tonight. Mary wanted to play tonight. Can I just answer a question? Sure. I mean, it sounds like you guys are not satisfied with the speed of the program, mm -hmm. how fast it's being done. So, why would you punish all the people who have nothing? They're not 